Salutations, everybody. This is Razor the Casual Gamer giving you perk analysis tier 2. My one over for three thoughts analysis series. That today we're going over the tier 2 perks the red guys, the bread and butter, the big hitters, the all stars. And let's get it going. We have quick draw, hardline, assassin, overkill, blast shield. These are the perks. These are the really interesting ones. So let's get on to it. The first one is going to be Hardline. Hardline Pro allows you two assists, count as a kill, and one less death is required to get your death streak. Now, finally, we get a good Hardline Pro. Modern Warfare 2, piece of crap. You know, one less death for your painkiller, which I didn't use anyway. I mean, why would you want a perk that helps you when you die if you want to do well? And <laughs> Black Ops, um, it made you have to run the care package in order to make Hardline Pro useful at all to you. And if you're running Hardline, you're not going for a four kill streak. You're going for your chopper gun or Blackbird dogs gunship, Rolling Thunder, what have you. That's what you're doing when you're running Hardline Pro. You're not trying to get a care package. So I mean that that was completely useless. I mean, yeah, it was nice to re-roll for, like, your friends or stuff, but it, it really didn't make sense. And finally, they get Hardline Pro down right. This is such an awesome decision. I heard that this was going to be its separate perk called, like, uh, a point guard or something, but it's awesome that they included this as the pro version of Hardline, that two assists count as a kill. That is going to be huge, and that is going to affect a lot of people and the way that they play this game, as well as other perks that they're going to use. You're going to see a lot of people uh, running Hardline with Scavenger, because uh, they can replenish their tactical grenades and just spam their flash and stuns, get a bunch of assists, and uh, you know easy points there for their point streaks. And uh, all thanks to the awesomeness that is Hardline Pro. So you're going to see a lot of people uh, combine those two. Um, possibly with um, a Riot Shield. Because uh, if you, uh, you'll you stay alive a lot longer uh, with that protection. And you'll be able to grab those scavenger packs. Throw those tactical grenades. And get those assists. Which gives you those uh, points for your point streaks. Thanks to Hardline Pro. So this was awesome. One less death for your death streak. Who really cares? Uh, maybe that'll be useful for, like, say, Juiced for uh, running Capture the Flag or something. But this is awesome. Big fan. I've always used Hardline a lot, and I'm going to be finally rewarded for being able to get that pro version. And it's just going to be awesome, guys. So uh, big props to Hardline. Uh, next, we have Assassin. Uh, yes, I did cover Assassin in a, a previous video all by itself for like 10 minutes or whatever. So if you want to check that out uh, for a m bigger in-depth analysis there, go ahead and do that. Uh, but Assassin, immune to pretty much everything. Um, it might be a little overpowered um, in some people's eyes because you're immune to the counter UAV and the EMP with the uh, pro version. And I really didn't see this as necessary. The Assassin Pro version would have been just fine if it was no cross red name or uh, crosshairs um, when you're being targeted. That would have been just fine. I that it's it's already good enough as it is. And um, making it immune to counter UAV and EMP just seemed a bit of an overkill to me. And uh, it, it's going to uh, lessen the um, importance of running EMP. Um, since it's much a lower point streak than it was in Modern Warfare 2, so it might be more useful. But since you're immune to it, we're using Assassin, and a lot of people will be using Assassin, and at least have one or two classes with Assassin Pro on it, EMP might be totally useless in this game. Um, but the, the counter to Assassin you're going to be seeing is our either Recon or Marksman. Uh, Assassin cannot counter these, so if you want people to show up as on as, while they have Assassin, uh, either on Recon or Marksman. And that'll be the counter to that. Uh, Assassin, you might be seeing uh, a totally different thing than it was for Ghost. For uh, In Black Ops, all of the bad players uh, used Ghost quite often to hide in corners and not be detected by the spy plane. But what I think you might be seeing in Modern Warfare 3 is a lot more good players using Assassin. 
because the bad players will be running their heartbeat sensors. And this is going to force all of the players who are not noobs to the game and do not use the heartbeat sensor to run Assassin, as this is the only way to counter heartbeat sensors, which is a real shame. I think that immunity to heartbeat sensors should have been put in Dead Silence, like it was in Ninja Pro for Modern Warfare 2. Um, so if you want to stay off of anything, be that portable radar, UAV, or thermal, or heartbeat sensors, you have to run Assassin Pro. So that's going to force a lot more people to use Assassin to counter these uh, uh, campy, uh, newbie parts of the game. Um, not counting uh, Spy Plan, that's... Uh, I, I, I covered that in my last uh, video about Assassin, if you want to see my thoughts on that, but... You're going to see a lot more good players using Assassin, and possibly less bad players using it uh, as well. But we'll see. It was pretty popular, and that trend's going to continue. Um, so let's go over to Overkill. Uh, I made a video about this before, so you want to check that out for a bigger analysis. But two primaries. Pro version gives you uh, uh, two attachments on your secondary. Um, that's This is, above all, just like a really fun mess around class. You're going to see a lot of people using this as like montages. Um, you know, have a sniper rifle and it's like switch over to a shotgun and get like a four-man feed or switch over to, you know, an SMG or, or something or, you know, have two shotguns or, you know, it, it's just going to be really cool. Um, you're going to see me messing around with it um, sometimes, but um, uh, you're going to be seeing some people that run overkill a lot just so they can have a shotgun secondary um, to uh, keep themselves protected um, when in a building or hiding in a corner, um, defending themselves from people who got shot by them further away. And so as they come to rush in for the revenge kill, you're going to see people rushing over, switching to their AA-12 or what have you, and uh, use that to their advantage. So you're going to see some people using overkill, and uh, that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, next up, we have quick draw. Uh, this is a faster aim down sights, um, which allows you to quick scope. Um, just like in Modern Warfare 2, it's it's back, um, and the pro version has you faster recovery from throwing uh, grenades and using equipment. Uh, this is really awesome. You might be seeing a lot of people um, run this with sleight of hands to have the faster weapon swapping, faster reload, faster ADS, and faster recovery. And if you run sleight of hand and quick draw and say like um, steady aim or stalker, and you have a good connection, there should be no excuse for you to ever die, because this is a pretty lethal combination, um, but I, I really like it. Uh, you're just, anyone that wants a quick scope is going to be using this, um, so that's really cool, and people running uh, you know, Scavenger um, can really add this, use this added benefit from using their equipment a lot faster to just uh, spam as much as possible and as quickly as possible, so that's going to be really cool. And last of all, we have Blast Shield, which is probably the greatest improvement out of anything from Black Ops to uh, Modern Warfare 3 um, because it gives you Flak Jacket and it gives you Tactile Mass Pro so you have greater resistance to explosive damage and uh, you're immune to uh, flash and stun grenades um, which was pretty awesome. The only reason me and pretty much anyone else ever used Tactical Mass Pro was for the Pro ability and combine these two together uh, really gives me uh, the incentive to use Blast Shield I probably would not use Blast Shield um, unless I was countering, say, uh, new tubers. But um, with this uh, pro ability to have you immune to stun flash grenades, I'm going to be using Blast Shield a lot more. Um, and it'll give me the added benefit of being immune to explosives. So I see the pro version as the main benefit and the primary um, benefit to it as uh, just a, a, an added bonus because. Um, you know, that's I didn't really run Flak Jacket a lot in Black Ops unless uh, the situation really called for it. Um, but this is going to be awesome uh, combination. You're going to be seeing a lot more people run this. And so this uh, may lessen the effect of people who like stunning and flashing like myself. I utilize my stuns and uh, more than anyone that I, that I see. And it's really a good idea to use those stuns to your benefit. Um, I like stuns better than flashes because you can throw them faster. Um, with Crick Draw, of course, you can totally even that playing field out. Um, but Blast Shield is going to be a huge uh, impact on th this game because you're immune to stun flash grenades. So uh, campers who want to stay away from being picked off by grenades are going to be protected, and they'll also be protected from being stunned and flashed, which was my, really my main 
um, counter to this in Black Ops, so it's going to be a lot more difficult to take out the uh, camping noobs using Blast Shield. Um, but you know, we'll all find a way, and especially with uh, you know the added better sound from Modern Warfare 2, and combine that with Dead Silence, that might be a pretty good counter to this. But overall, I really, really love what they did with the Tier 2 perk because Hardline is better, Blast Shield is better, and uh, the ones that are in it, I'm so glad that you can't have both of them. I'm glad that you can't have Assassin and Quick Draw, so all the Quick Scopers will show up on the UAVs. So that's awesome. I'm glad you can't have uh, Overkill and Assassin or Blast Shield because having two primaries is a pretty good advantage. And uh, this uh, would be pretty annoying if they also stayed off of the uh, UAV and or if they were immune to uh, my grenades or f stuns. So that's really cool. Um, I, I really like that you can't have both any combination of two of these unless of course you're running the specialist strike package which will give you a pretty big advantage if you run a strike list uh, the specialist strike package you most definitely might be wanting to run one of these tier two perks as your first additional perk your fourth perk um so that's uh that's going to be really interesting with the specialist strike package and so overall i gotta give my props to infinity warden sledgehammer with this uh, tier two perk they put all the best perks in here, which is really awesome. Be sure to stay tuned for uh, further Modern Warfare 3 thoughts and analysis videos, guys. Be sure to leave your thoughts below on the perks, and uh, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys later.